So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Today um, at Everyday Mathematics, we're going to look at the MIT 2024 Integration B Finals Lightning Round, problem number one. Um, and our problem today is the definite integral from x equals to zero to one of open brackets, um, open brackets, one minus x to the power three over two, uh, close bracket, uh, to the power 3 over 2 minus, open bracket, 1 minus x to the power 2 over 3, close bracket, to the power 2 over 3. So this is a very interesting problem. Um, it's going to be uber short. Um, I hope you enjoy um, following along. Uh, but before I jump into uh, sharing the solution, I'd like to thank our subscribers. We thank you so, so much for your support. Uh, your support excites us and keeps us coming back here uh, to, you know, share with you our love for mathematics. Uh, our first time visitors um, would like to inform you that here at Everyday Mathematics, what we do is we just go about and around and look for uh, difficult problems. We try to uh, solve them and then we share with you our version of the solution. Sometimes uh, there are some issues here and there, but... Uh, our passion is really just, um, you know, uh, working through mathematical problems. Uh, for our repeating visitors who haven't uh, subscribed to our channel, we do really encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel. We will love your support, and your support would really mean a lot to us. So, um, so this problem, as I said, uh, it's super interesting. Um, what personally um, I would do is to separate this into two separate integrals. So the first integral, I would color it as blue, which is the integral from x, equals, from x equals zero to one of one minus x to the power of three over two, all to the power three over two, minus the integral from x equals zero to one, uh, in bracket one minus x to the power two over three, close bracket two over three. And this last would, you know, just use color coding uh, to separate these two integrals. Um, so uh, with the first integral, um, the first thing I would do is I would let u be equal to the integrand, which is one minus x to the power three over two to the power three over two. And so if I got the cube root on both sides, now I have u to the power one over three uh, equals to 1 minus x to the power 3 over 2 um, all to the power a half. And then if I square uh, both sides, now I, ha now I have u to the power 2 over 3, which equals to now 1 minus x to the power 3 over 2. Now I can subtract um, u uh, on both sides and add u to the power 2 over 3 on both sides, and then add x to the power 3 over 2 on both sides. And now I have a 1 minus u to the power 2 over 3 equals to x to the power 3 over 2. And then uh, get the cube root um, on both sides, and then square both sides. And now um, we have x being equal to uh, open bracket 1 minus u to the power 2 over 3 to the power 2 over 3. So essentially, uh, d, the small change or d of 1 minus u to the power 2 over 3 or the power 2 over 3 is the same as dx. Um, and also when x equals to 0, um, u is equals to one minus zero to the power three over two, which is means that u is one. And then when x is equals to one, then u is equal to zero. So um, our integral now, the blue integral uh, of one minus x to the power three over two or the power three over two is the same as, since this we equated this part to u, um, this is u, small u, and then dx is this part. Now we have the an integral 
that's very interesting. Um, but also the limits, we've flipped it because that's what you uh, demanded us to. Um, but now we have uh, integration uh, by parts or where we have U and then we have this part uh, D1 minus U to the power two over three, the power two over three. And using this integration by parts, if you have the product of U and DV, then uh, we have that resulting into UV minus the integral of V du. So our DV is this, and our U is this small u. So now integrating that, UV is U times one minus U the power two over three, all the power two over three, and applying uh, our uh, limits appropriately, sorry, this is zero, this is not U, um, minus, uh, the same integral from one to zero. And now, since our V is one minus U to the power two over three, all the power two over three, and then DU is our D small U, right? So when um, U is zero, this entire thing goes to zero because this U is zero. When U is one, this is one, and so one minus one is zero. So this entire thing is going to zero. So this entire um, expression is zero. And now we are left with a negative, uh, the integral from U equals to one to zero, or one minus U to the power two over three, or the power two over three. Because of this negative sign, we can flip the, the limits. So now we have the integral from U equals to zero to one of one minus two to the power two over three, all to the power two over three. Now, you with this integral now, you can change u to x, and what we're seeing here is that our integral of from x equals to zero to one of one minus x to the power three over two, all to the power three over two is equal to the integral of from x equals to zero to one of one minus x to the power two over three from this, right, uh, to the power uh, two over three. So our original problem now, uh, since there's this equality here, that means that if we're subtracting this integral from this integral, um, that means that the final answer is zero because the integral of this is the same as the integral of this. Uh, and so the final answer just collapses to zero, um, which is uh, very cool. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure um, solving this problem and sharing it with you. Uh, until next time, bye-bye, uh, uh, see you.